I need them for my lunch, little girl. Your belly's full anyway. Oh, I know. No eating my little chicks, okay? Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Ballard Family Farm. All right, so I just started shooting another video about me moving the cows and I was talking about my, uh, I was getting 70 meat chickens delivered, hopefully today. Well, they showed up right in the middle of that. You'll probably see that in that video as well. So I got to run to the post office, pick up my meat chickens, and then I'm building some more chicken tractors, which you'll see that video as well. Um, but let's run up to the post office real quick, pick these uh, chicks up and take a look at them. Okay, so I just got back from picking up the birds, but also ran a tractor supply first. And I picked up two bags of feed, grower feed. Uh, well, actually, just let me show you. I'll turn you around and show you. This is the feed I get at Tractor Supply. It's 20% chick starter grower. I just started with two bags for now. We'll go get more, obviously. I bought two more of these. I have two in there now. Uh, I bought two of, of these here. That's, what is that? Five quart. I bought two of those for the just the baby chicks as well. Plus, I got the two smaller ones in there still. And then two different feeders as well. And then some flakes. And that's 70 chicks right there. Three boxes, 70 chicks. I'll give you guys a little quick close-up of them. Oh, they're already jumping out. <laughs> Come back up here. Well, I know. All right, so I'm gonna close them back up because I got some curious little kittens right behind me. Okay, so I closed the top on them. Uh, I'm gonna go get everything ready. Water, food, everything inside there, the new pine shavings. Uh, get it all set up and then I plan on putting all the new babies in there. They'll be uh, they'll be perfectly fine out here in the heat. Uh, they prefer the heat anyway. It's probably 88 degrees right now outside and the sun's right on them so they'll be they'll be great right here. I just got to make sure I keep these cats away from them.
I got Donald being nosy over here and he's making a lot of noise. I've got this first box ready and the little water trough deal here. I'm gonna use it this year too, cause I got so many. Uh, I was thinking about building another one of these. I just don't have the wood. So I'd have to go buy the piece of plywood for that. So for now, I'm just gonna use this. If they get too big and, and it's too crowded too quick, I'll go buy me another piece of wood and build one more of these and use all three. Plus I've got my metal chicken brooder up here from Tractor Supply. I plan on putting about 10 to 12, maybe 15 in there. You can put more in there, but just not these Cornish cross because they, they grow so fast that that metal brooder kind of becomes worthless really for, for meat chickens. But for my laying hens over here, I had them in there for almost the whole four weeks. They didn't grow too fast that, that I had to move them. But these Cornish cross in eight weeks, they're bigger than my, you know, my chickens that are four years old. So, all right, I'm definitely gonna, <coughs> Donald, go somewhere else. I'm definitely gonna have to pay attention to the cats. They're in here, they're curious. And I think they would like to get their little mitts on some little baby chicks. So I'm gonna have to pay attention to that. I'm also gonna have to build a top for this one. I don't have a top yet for this, so I'll have to figure that out too. So I'm gonna start with one box. It should be roughly, I don't know, probably, let's see. Roughly 30 in each of these bigger boxes. And then there was 10 in that smaller box. So I wanna start with one box, put it over here, close it down so the cats don't get into it. And then we'll figure something out over here. I probably, I probably can put all of them in here for now. But in the first four or five days, they're gonna double in size. So they're gonna be huge. So you just take one chick at a time and make sure their beak gets into the water so they know where their water's at. They'll find their food, but you need to make sure they see the water and they start drinking water right away. So these chicks are two days old. So as you can see, plenty of water in here for them for now. And I've got two feeders and just this one here. I planned on putting two feeders in my other one as well. Okay, that's 70 of them in one brooder for now. It is kind of funny to watch them drink for the first time. And look at them. I mean, they're two days old and eating away already. Really, they're just exploring, running around, trying to figure out what, what to do. <laughs> So these little chicks are two days old. They were born Tuesday, shipped Tuesday. Today's Thursday. Uh, we got them early in the morning. And all of them arrived still alive. So that's a good, that's a good sign. That's a good, uh, that's a sign of a good hatchery too. I mean, Hoover Hatchery has done really well for the, all the birds I've ordered from them. I've ordered roughly 200 birds so far this year from Hoover Hatchery. And none of them, uh, none of the birds have been dead when they arrived. So it's been really awesome. So here's the other, here's one of the little kittens curious about what's going on. You just go on. Hey, go on. Hey, I don't want you to, I don't want you to have a lunch today of my chickens. I need them for my lunch. 
I need them for my lunch, little girl. Your belly's full anyway. Oh, I know. No eating my little chicks, okay? So I do have a, this little water trough here ready to go. I've got the, uh, I do have feeders and waterers to go in here. And I did find a piece of plywood that'll cover this. I have just enough to cover that. And then I'll probably move 10 of them over here, here in about an hour. This is that metal chicken brooder from Tractor Supply. It's gotten a lot of complaints from people, but I, it seems to do great for me. I love it. All right, so I went ahead and shut that top so the cats can't get into it. So I'll get, give you guys a quick look at the hens I got from Hoover Hatchery. They're probably three months old by now, I'd say. It's a little dark, so wait for the camera to kind of adjust. And it's kind of funny over here because me and Tanya keep noticing that Donald only has two of his hens with him. But well, we haven't paid attention to what hens are in here. It's because he should have three hens with him, but he only has two. It's because one of them found her way in here. So <laughs> one of our four-year-old hens is over here with the uh, youngsters. Let me give you a look real quick. So there she is right there. And she, I'm sure she wants back out. She probably misses Donald. Let's see if I can grab her in a minute and bring her out. So here's all the hens we had from Hoover Hatchery. They're getting pretty good size. They're about, they may be four months old, really. I'd have to look back. I am planning on getting them outside here in the next week or so. Hopefully, today's Thursday, and hopefully I, I have them outside by Monday or Tuesday. Because they're, uh, they're really not getting any sun, and they need to be getting sun right now. They get the sun, I mean, y'all see the sun that's coming through, and that's about all they get, and that's only for about three hours a day. They should be getting a lot more than that. So all these hens have done really, really well. I have not lost a single hen. So all the hens that Hoover sent me, none of them were dead when they got here, and none of them have died since. So that's really awesome. Um, my first batch of uh, Cornish Cross, uh, none died. None were dead when they arrived, but about two days later, I had two die. Um, but that's typically normal with Cornish Cross. Like out of these 70 Cornish Cross, there's no way all of them are gonna make it a week. I'm gonna lose. Typically they say expect five to 10% loss in the first week. And it's a lot of it's just because of dominance issues where they start pecking on one, all of them will start pecking on one or two hens and they just can't take it and it ends up killing them. I mean, it's just, it's just part of life for a chicken. Okay, I thought I just showed y'all me getting that bigger hen that older hen out of the barn i didn't hit record on my camera so y'all missed it i did get her she's out here with donald again donald's yelling at me because he's in the barn watching me hear him <laughs> he's mad at me probably or happy one or the other i did you a favor donald you got her back Okay, like I said at the beginning of the video, I was originally shooting a different video when they called me and said the chickens were here. So you're still gonna see the other video first, even though this one will be finished first. Uh, but I'll talk about that video, or this video in that video. And that's me moving the cows over to my uncle's house, or my uncle's farm. Um, I do plan on, so I do plan on moving the chickens around so they're not all in that one box. Uh, I'm just sweating like crazy. So I'm gonna go cool off for a little bit, probably an hour, come back out here, move them over to the other two brooders as well. So I have three going at once. Um, that way they're not too crowded. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, hit the like button and leave me a comment. We'll see you guys on the next one. Remember, do the good. Come on.